Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. South Africa is saying that if you're a South African passport holder and you go to Israel to fight against the Palestinians, when it's time for you to return, do not return to South Africa. Stay in Israel because if you dare set foot in South Africa, they will arrest you and they'll prosecute you. Talk about South Africa taking the bold steps that the rest of the world has failed to take in protecting minorities and also standing up against the West. Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of our conversations. My name is Indira Ganga. I'm a business journalist by profession and a digital content creator. And I love coming on here, having conversations with you guys about black people, Africans, our empowerment, and how we can rise up and take our rightful place at the global stage. Connect with me on social media, at Indira Ganga, or you can come over to my channel. The name is New Dawn Africa channel, where I profile the continent through people, politics, and culture. So it's now imagining that different people, particularly of Jewish descent, are traveling the world to go and fight um, on behalf of Israel in Palestine. We've seen many Americans leave to, or many people in America, plus Americans and Jewish Americans, leave to go back to Israel and fight. We've seen people from all over the world, from Germany, from France, from China, and now there are certain people from South Africa that are actually leaving to go and fight in Israel. And the problem is they chose to leave from the wrong country or rather they hold the passport of a country that does not condone or tolerate impunity or genocidal acts against other people. How do I, why do I say this? Because South Africa time and time again have taken a stand against Israel and said what they're doing to Palestine is wrong. South Africa was, is the only country that took the bold step to take Israel to the International Court of Justice um, on grounds of genocidal acts against Palestine. South Africa is the only country that has said it's going to sue the United States of America for aiding and abating Israel in their genocide against the people of Palestine. So this is just a country that has taken a stand. And it's so bold of South Africa because some of these choices have massive, massive consequences. And it's on this channel where I spoke before where South Africa's president, Sarah Ramaphosa, was saying that he fears that there'll be retaliation over the choices that South Africa has made in the last year. And guess what? It didn't take long before one of the American representatives introduced a bill to review all the businesses that America does with South Africa because they deem South Africa as an enemy. You understand? But then South Africa is still not backing down. They're saying what is wrong is wrong and what is right is right. And most recently, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that if you're a holder of a South African passport and you go to fight in Israel, when you come back, we'll prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. So South Africa is saying the world might not care about the rule of law and the world might not care about holding people to account who portrayed genocidal acts, but that will not be allowed and that will not be permitted here. If you go, rest assured, when you come back, you will go to jail. You will literally go to jail. You'll be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. This is such a bold and gutsy move, you know? And the problem is it will, again, put more pressure on the international community to increase the sanctions with which they're going to impose on South Africa, just sort of to make them toe the line and color within the lines because how dare you disrespect us? How dare you fight back? But that is something that, that is the mountain that South Africa has chosen to die on and it's going to stick with it. So very bold to see South Africa making this decision. We await to see what comes out of it. I am not sure it will distract um, people from going, 
but then i think maybe when it's time to come back they might want to explore other options or they might choose to seek asylum in other countries by stating that when they go to south africa they're going to be prosecuted let me know what you think about this story down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching my name is Indira Ganga and i will see you again next time